हेलो एवरीवन आर यू टायर्ड ऑफ मेकिंग योर रेज्यूमे ऑन एमएस वर्ड और फेड अप ऑफ अलाइनमेंट एरर्स एंड पुअर चॉइस ऑफ फॉन्ट स्टाइल एंड साइज वेल वी हैव अ सॉल्यूशन व्हिच विल हेल्प यू एलिमिनेट ऑल दीस मिस्टेक्स व्हाइल मेकिंग योर रेज्यूमे सो लेट अस क्रिएट योर रेज्यूमे ऑन इंटर्न शाला रेज्यूमे मेकर फॉर दैट द फर्स्ट स्टेप विल बी टू रजिस्टर योरसेल्फ ऑन इंटर्न शाला just go to our website www.internshala.com and click on the register button select the option as a student here in this drop down menu this will take you to the student registration page always remember to use your professional email id while registering on internshala keeping an email address such as crazyrahul@gmail.com or rockinggirl@gmail.com doesn't work and in fact actually brings down your profile after writing your registration details we shall verify the account first please keep in mind that you will not be able to access your intern shala student account unless you verify it so please check your registered email id and click on the verification link sent by us once you do this you will be able to proceed further intern shala has divided the resume into six categories that is personal details preferences education experience skills and work samples after you complete the verification of your account it will directly take you to the first section of your resume that is personal details let us understand how to mention the details in this section first you shall write your full name and provide your phone number always provide your primary contact number and remember to keep this number active till you get hired by the company after this you have to provide your current city current city is where you live at the moment and city 2 is where your hometown is for example if you study in one city say delhi but your hometown is a different city say chennai you should mention your current city as delhi and your hometown is chennai also mentioning both the cities is helpful in case you are looking for opportunities in both next step is to fill your preferences this part is very important every week we send an email called students digest to all our registered students updating them with the new internships in their preferred category then select the type of internship you are available for that is a full time internship work from home or part time in your city or both select the fields you would like to do an internship in from the list of profiles provided in the drop down menu you can also select your preferred cities where you would like to do the internship now Every week you will receive an email from Intern Shala which will have all the internships as per the city preferences provided by you in this section. In case you selected the option both, you will receive the internships that are from your selected city and work from home opportunities in the email. After filling these details, you will be able to see the internships based on your field and city preference. but our resume is not complete yet to do that just go to the top right corner of the screen and select the drop down menu near your name's initial select the option edit resume previously we have completed the personal details and preferences section the next section is education start by adding your graduation details and then go down to your 12th and 10th details You may also add your post graduation or PhD details in case you may have completed or are pursuing any of them. If not, you can simply skip these details. While providing your graduation details, please remember to select your appropriate graduation status. That is, if you are currently pursuing or have completed your graduation and fill your details accordingly. Also please keep in mind to use proper capitalization for your school name and degree in the educational details 
Similarly, add the details of your 12th and 10th standard as well. The next section is the work experience section. This section contains all your past jobs, internships, trainings or project experiences. It is important to list out all your experiences related to the profile you are applying for. Most of the employers closely look at this section. Students are more likely to be successful in their internship or job hunt if they have some good work experience. Let us see how you can fill this section in the correct manner. For example, if you want to add the details of any internship that you may have done, just go to add internship and write the name of the profile and organization you worked for and also mention the duration for which you worked for that organization. In case you worked on a project and want to mention the same, just click on the option add project and provide the relevant details of the same such as the project title, its start and end month and a brief description of what the project was all about. If you have a functional link of any website or URL that you created for that particular project, you may also share that in this section. Providing a brief about your work description at a company or your project links help the employer understand your skills better and evaluate you accordingly. Follow the same procedure to add the details of any training that you may have done and would like to mention in your resume by clicking on the option add training and provide its details. Next is the skills section. List down all the skills that you possess. There may be a number of technical skills that you may possess such as Adobe Photoshop, Java, PHP, MS Excel, MS Office, Teaching, English Proficiency, SEO that is Search Engine Optimization, etc. Mentioning the skills that you possess and which are related to the profile you are applying for improves your chances of selection. Also, when you write down the skills here, it will ask you about your level in that particular skill that is beginner, intermediate and advanced. So, please mention that as well accordingly. And the last section is work samples. In this section, you can add any past work samples you may have. It could be your portfolio link on GitHub or Behance. If you are a writer and have your own blog or have your work published somewhere, then you can provide the employer with the link of the same if you are applying for a content writing internship. If you have your personal website, you may also share that. The employer may look at your work and get impressed. This is actually the evidence of what all you have written in the work experience section and gives you an edge over others. After this, there are additional details. Here, you can mention all your achievements, certifications, workshops and interests. Always remember to quantify your achievements. That is, mention your scale of achievement. For example, if you won a best intern award, then tell the employer out of how many interns were you awarded or if you won a swimming competition, at what level and out of how many participants did you win. With this, we complete all the sections of your resume. You can edit any information you have filled before by clicking on this icon on the right corner of every section. To add new information, click on the plus button at the end of every section. Now, your resume is ready to be shared with the employers. You can download it by clicking on the download option. Or simply apply to internships through Internshala and your resume would automatically be shared with the employers. Please note again, if your account is not verified, you won't be able to use your Internshala student account.
so please do not forget to do that hope this resume maker helps you build a great resume so best of luck time for an interesting fact about internshala resume maker did you know about 10 lakh students made their resumes on internshala resume maker in the year 2019 with this we come to the end of this topic i hope you will now be able to make your own resume efficiently click next to take a quiz